Hello everybody. Um, I just have this little project here that I've been working on for a while that I wanted to show you. Not really a while, it's just been maybe a couple months or so. Um, I had a bit of problems getting this to record. Now, see, originally this was supposed to be very pixelated. It's supposed to run at a, a much lower resolution than this. But when I tried to build it, it turns out that the standalone build was freaking out um, with render textures. It didn't seem to like the render texture I'm using. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might just have to have it be not pixelated. So anyway, I don't really have a name for this thing yet. It's just kind of a procedural exploration simulator thing. Uh, what it does is it creates... Here, let me... Let me get a different world here. One that's a little more interesting. Well, this isn't it much more interesting, is it? Let's try again. No, no good. Here we go. So, what it does is it creates this texture on the billboard you can see there. I don't want my flashlight to wet it out. Then it takes that texture and it transforms it into a terrain, which is what you can see here, and you can walk around in it. It applies the texture itself, this texture, to the terrain as a texture. So you'll see different colored hills and things like that. And it also uses a smaller detail texture that's very pixelated deliberately. Um, you can't see it as well here. You probably won't be able to see it on YouTube, but you'll see it in some future maps that I load. And then you just kind of walk around and listen to procedurally generated music. Um, the music that's playing right now is just, it takes three different clips, three randomly chosen clips, and plays them at the same time. Uh, the clips, I've got kind of a system in place so that it only picks, uh, it doesn't pick ones that will clash too much when they're together. Um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of different little settings that it randomizes as well, like how much fog there is, the color of the fog. Uh, you'll probably see a rain effect later on. Uh, the sky. Right now, it's you, you can kind of tell that it's a, it's a box, because, like I said, it was supposed to be pixely, and when it was pixely, then you weren't able to tell as easily. And here we have the end of the world. So let's just load a new level. Oh, this one's kind of cool have a sun that's randomized and have some cool god rays here because I love god rays. This actually looked a lot better when it was pixelated. I really kind of disappointed that didn't work out. And yeah, you can see here's the here's the texture it's randomizing from. I actually put a lot of time into tweaking how the randomized texture system works so that you can get a whole bunch of really interesting weird looking terrain. And you can hear the pursuit procedurally generated music in the background. Some of it is actually ends up being quite nice. Um, I also have, it's not running at the moment, but I have a simple little system for actually creating procedurally generated melodies as well. Uh, and it works fairly well. I mean, it's nothing really complicated. Um, and I'll probably have that in here as well. Uh, here you can see the we have a different color here. Um, I'll probably put that in as well, randomized. It's just kind of neat. And yeah, that's really all there is to the game right now. It's not, I mean, some people would not call it a game. Here's the end of the world here. We'll just keep walking forever. <laughs> um, some people would not call it a game, I suppose. Let's load a new world. Oh yeah, and here you can see some trees. I think we already saw some trees, but they're very low-resolution trees. Deliberately so. This game is... It's kind of my... It's kind of my throwback to games like Noctis, which is one of my favorite games of all time, as some of you may be aware. Um, and a little bit to Proteus with the randomly generated music. It sounds a little Proteus-esque. I actually use a couple of Proteus uh, audio clips in some of the tracks, which some people might recognize. Um, at the moment, you just left click to generate a new world, and it does that. Eh, this one's kind of boring. Let's do a different one. Yeah, here we go. This is cool. 
It looks really cool, like, th this whole, like, uh, blockiness kind of looks like it's made out of voxels. That's just a quirk of it turning it into a texture. Turning, you know, or, I mean, turning a texture into a height map. Woo! But I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. I mean, the whole point of this is not... It's just to be cool and interesting and weird. You know? Just a little ego project I was working on. Or really just me. It's just something that I, I think is cool. Uh, at the moment, you just kind of left click to generate a new world. I'm not sure... Woo! This one's kind of messed up. You get worlds like this. Oh, and the frame rate is freaking out. Uh, every once in a while, there's a world where the frame rate just tanks. And I'm not entirely sure why it does that. I'm probably not going to fix it because... Oh well. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to add... Okay, this one's kind of screwed up. Let's make a new one. Oh, and here we have the opposite. It's super flat. I'm probably not going to do much more with this. I'm I'm probably going to add in some sort of little system for uh, generating the worlds. Instead of just left click, maybe you'll have to walk off the edge of the world or find something. Or um, they're actually they're not completely random. They are procedural, which means uh, if you put in the same seed, you'll get the same world every time. So I'll probably try and add that in in some way so people can save you know, worlds they like and revisit them if they wish. Um, here we go, here's a rain, here's some rain. A lot of this, it, it looks very different when it's not pixely, but, oh, hi, pit. That's why you have the flashlight, to be able to see pits and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just a little fun thing that I was working on. It's kind of just for my own enjoyment, you know, hearkening back to lower res, uh, you know, uh, really rough around the edges titles like Noctis that I love. And let's see what other worlds come up here. Get a couple more. None of these are very interesting. <laughs> there we go, use it. And I let the terrain system sometimes do, or the the texture generation system sometimes do really weird, crazy things like this, just, you know, because it adds variety. You can kind of see the color changes on the hills here, which is kind of neat. But yeah, I don't have a name for this yet. I don't know when I'm going to release it. It's definitely not going to be for money. Um, I'm probably just going to release it on itch. Uh, is pay what you want if you feel like paying me for it. <laughs> uh, and I don't know when that will be. At the moment I'm, you know, kind of swamped working on The Grandfather, and I'm doing some sound work for Forgotten, and of course I'm working on A Wolf in Autumn. So this thing I basically just work on when I don't feel like working on anything else, and just want to do something simple and weird. see if we can find one more interesting world here to end on. I kind of like the colors here. This is nice. Uh, blue and pale yellow going on. So every once in a while it, uh, it makes the texture black and white. I think it only does it for nighttime worlds, just to give kind of a more nighty feel to it. Here we go, let's end on this one. So this is unnamed game thing that I'll maybe post uh, another video of it whenever I finish it. And, you know, of course, if you have any interest in this, for whatever reason, you can follow my blog where um, I'll be announcing when it releases. And like I said, it'll be free. It's just a little thing. It's fun to play around with create some nice relaxing music and some cool weird looking alien worlds for you to explore. <laughs>